Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Austin, and I did my hair differently. I'm kind of weird. Never seen me like this. Um, today, I'm gonna be using my brush again. Still smells like the lovely Taylor of Bond Street that I used on the last video. I'm going to be using the uh, Paul Silver Blade that I put in it that day as well. And uh, I'm going to try to attempt to use my puck again, hopefully without it getting all goopy and gooey. So I just did uh, my uh, skincare routine, as a friend called it. Um, I just used a scrub, but I used a scrub and, and put lotion on my face. So my skin isn't dry. And uh, yeah, this is that little nick that I got in that last video. So uh, let's shave again. Uh, hopefully without messing anything up. I'm trying to get the water hot. Uh, I'm gonna be ruining that Taylor of Old Bond Street smell out of my brush now. Unfortunately. I'm scared, hopefully, I don't get it all goopy and weird. Yeah, it seems to be doing fine. A lot better than it did that one day. It's actually doing pretty well. A lot better than I expected. It was actually lathering pretty well. Should be enough? It doesn't look like much at all. Uh, the smell is gone out of the brush. Put some water on my face. I'm just gonna do my cheeks, I'm not gonna do like my neck or anything. Yeah, it's lathering pretty good. Again, nowhere near as good as at a Taylor Volt on street. And I'm stuck in a loop. I keep getting that. I, I have a thing. I keep getting this Vanderhagen soap in my mouth. Every single time I use it. But I'm stuck in a loophole. I keep going back between the Taylor of Old Bond Street um, as the soaps and things that I'm going to try and get. I keep going back and forth between the uh, Platinum Collection of the Taylor of Old Bond Street and Sandalwood. Because, uh, as you know from that video, I loved that Sandalwood. Yeah, I love that sandalwood, as you saw. But I'm stuck between the platinum collection and that. And for razors, I'm stuck between the Parker 99R and that Gillette, King C Gillette. So, and then I saw in that video, I was holding my razor leg down here. That's because I can't grip this razor well. It could just be that my hands are wet, so I'm gonna draw that. My hands and my there we go, it's a little better. This thing is getting grungy, can you see that? You can't really see it on camera, but this thing is getting grungy. First time using this uh, blade. Hmm. I think my lather might have been too dry. Yesterday, I had a karate test, because yes, I do do karate, I'm one of those weirdos. And uh, I used a, a woman's, oh, women's. <laughs> I used a, a women's uh, cartridge razor. It, it worked. I needed to get a quick shave in, quicker than a safety razor. 
And it worked. So yeah. Hey, the thickness of my hair is starting to migrate this way. Ooh, that is smooth. I think I did accidentally shave a hair off. Maybe, uh, no. I got a little nick. Right there, you can't. I didn't even notice it at all. There, I'm starting to go up a little bit. Turn this off. I'm glad that this uh, soap isn't as goopy. I add a little bit more water. Uh, that was probably too much. Yeah, that was too much. I know I'm getting that uh, Colonel Conks uh, shaving pucks, the four thing. And I think it has lime, lemon, bay rum, almond, yeah, and almond. Lemon, lime, bay rum, and almond. And you know, I don't mind the smell of all. Why did it again? This stuff does not taste good in your mouth. It smells fine. It does not taste fine. <laughs> yeah. I gotta lower my teeth. That's gross. <laughs> but I, uh, I finally figured out the uh, scents. I think so. Watch, I'm still gonna be wrong. I'm just sitting here lathering, you know. I'm not even gonna shave, I'm just gonna lather. That little bit on my nose. Get it off. I'm just kidding, I am going to shave. Still. Look at this blade. Ooh, you can hear it. It's taking it off pretty well. That's how you know I do have hair to cut and shave off. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I have a second side to this uh, razor. Yesterday, uh, with my uh, test, it went fine. I messed up on a few spots that I normally don't mess up on. But other than that, it went pretty good. You hear that? Other than those few little mishaps, it went good. Hopefully I pass. Because if you know anything about karate, you know that it can be hard to pass sometimes, especially with something that you haven't learned a lot. Why am I talking about karate? No one cares. I got one dislike on my last video. I miss a little bit. I can feel it. Try. I just did. <laughs> I'm starting to get better with my neck area, which I'm glad I'm doing. I still feel a little bit, but that's all right. I'm just, I got the winds off. Um, 
I have a shirt. Let's use it on this. <laughs> Why not? One of, one of the great benefits of wearing a shirt while shaving. You can use it as a towel if you don't have one. It's not ideal, but you can do it. <laughs> All right, I haven't even picked out an aftershave yet. Let's do that. Hmm. Yeah, let's use this. I have not even used it once on this channel. But I have used it before. <sighs> Avon. I hope they still make this stuff. Burns. <sighs> That's the most burn I've got out of this uh, aftershave. I'm just still telling you better on my jaw right there, please, baby. Mm. This is just a quick shave this morning. Or not this morning, it's like 2 30. <laughs> Pretty good. Not a bad shave. Just that one little tiny nick. And all these weird bumps around my face. What are they from? I don't know. Uh, I really do wish I had a towel that I could use. I just have my little brothers right there and that's it. But uh, yeah, that wasn't goopy. The soap. I need a new one though. But I don't think I'll get another Vanderhagen one. I think I'll just get the uh, Colonel Kong stuff. And uh, try and get a better bowl. I mean these two ones, this one, and uh, this one, they're fine. This one's good for like creams and stuff. Not so good as like uh, bowls and pucks. But, uh, I don't know, my dad has a badger brush and uh, it hurt putting it on your face. It was pokey. <laughs> I think his is more of like a I think this is a silver tip, and this one might be too, because it's silver on the tip. And then again, it might be a synthetic. And, uh, my friend asked me, like, she's like, I can't find your channel on well, Twitter to search AK Shaves, which is what this channel is called. Clean it. But uh, she said she searched it on Google and it came up as something really weird. So that's a caution if you guys are trying to search up my channel on weird things. What are you guys trying to search up my channel on to get these weird little recommendations? <laughs> Paul Silverblade, still doing pretty good. Not bad. I don't, I don't, I don't mind it. It's pretty good. I heard that it's a, a mild, uh, pretty mild uh, razor. I have a bump growing right there. Do you see that right there? I wonder what that's from. Well, and this blade sits really nicely. Like, I don't even have to move it side to side like I normally do with some of my other razor blades. <laughs> pretty good. Uh, the uh, next, I mean, like, how grungy it's getting underneath there, look at that. It's getting grungy. I think I'll clean it after this video. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll obviously clean this out sometime too. I use it so much getting a hole in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more random videos like this where I shave in the middle of the day, uh, because I haven't been able to take a shower, then yeah. Click the like button. Pretty good shave. Not bad. Hi. And I'll see you guys later.